Come Halloween, there will be so many of us on Earth that it's actually kind of scary. And it's a story that we think has been undercovered. The UN just released a staggering report about the world population, and Errol Barnett joins us to break the numbers down. Uh, Errol, I guess that we're about to hit a milestone. You're absolutely right, Randy. Well, we'll be celebrating Halloween next week, and the kids will be trick-or-treating. The world's global population will hit 7 billion. And if you look at previous growth, this is just exponential. 12 years ago, the global population was 6 billion. Back in 1987, it was 5 billion. In fact, the number of people living in our world has tripled since 1940. But the question is why? The simple answer is that more babies are being born and people are living longer. But let's dig deeper into that for you and give you an international perspective on this. Where is all the growth taking place? Well, if I touch um, uh, this here for you, I can show you countries where the birth rate is above five children uh, per woman. And you see that it's in the developing world, mostly on the African continent. You're seeing here, Mali, Niger, Chad. This country here, Niger, in fact, has the highest fertility rate, seven children per woman there. Now let's look at the flip side of that, where the birth rates are lowest, and you see different regions. The developed world, Russia, all throughout Europe, Brazil, Canada. Here in the United States, the birth rate is just above two children uh, per women. So you can see that while the developing world um, has high fertility rates, it's the developed world that's not contributing as much to the global population. Uh, in fact, in Bosnia, in Europe, that's where the fertility rate is the lowest in the world. So why is the developing world having this baby boom? According to the Earth Policy Institute, about 215 million women in the developing countries, they don't have access to family planning. And 40% of pregnancies throughout the world, they're unplanned. Here in the U.S., that number's higher, actually, at about 48%. So one of the key questions is, how much would it cost to get birth rates under control? while well, providing family planning resources to all women who don't have access right now would cost about $6.7 billion a year. That's by one estimate. So how much money is that, really? We were talking about Halloween. Consider this. Americans will spend $6.9 billion, billion on Halloween this year. Yeah. And there's a different trend, though, we're seeing in Japan. Uh, there, the aging population is increasing. Over the past two decades, Japan almost doubled its population of those over the age of 65. So you've got the developing world having its own baby boom, and the U.S. and other developed countries, people are living longer. And this means, Candy, that by 2050, the global population could hit 9.3 billion. Wow, that is uh, that is something. Um, what? How are we going to handle all this? I mean, it's certainly it's getting pretty crowded. So, what are the experts saying? Can we handle it? Yeah, I spoke earlier today with Joel Cohen. He's a professor at Rockefeller University, and he wrote a book, "How Many People Can the Earth Support?" And he told me that that number is dictated by how we all manage resources. He says the way that we're doing it now isn't good. Number one, he says family planning can help bring the population to a more tolerable level. But he also says it's not just global population you have to look out for but the number of households which is also increasing because that's an indication of how much energy is being used uh, how many resources are being absorbed all over the world including the United States and his advice is that as we look at this uh, future surge of humans on the planet more than 9 billion in 2050 access to fresh water will also be a major issue so we're all gonna have to do much more sharing in the decades ahead yeah it's certainly uh, it sounds that way I uh, thank you very much Errol appreciate that sure. And uh, for those of you at home, you can check this out. Do you want to know where you fall in the 7 billion? Population.org has a live counter, but also has a place where you can put in your birthday, and it will then calculate where you fall. We've made it easy for you, though, by adding a link to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash CNN, and you will find it there.